Growing up in Solon, Iowa, this is something special to me. I grew up a Hawk fan. Iowa City is only 15 minutes away, so being able to come to Hawk games with my family and friends is something pretty neat. I was always in sports. I was always like doing different things. My freshman year, I played basketball, football obviously, golf, baseball. And then going into my sophomore year, I kind of changed it up. Instead of basketball, transitioned over to wrestling. The wrestling coaches were saying, your brother has graduated and he was a heavyweight wrestler himself, so you know we can maybe use you as a heavyweight wrestler. I thought wrestling would probably be the best thing for me in football. So I was like, screw it, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna give it a shot. He was not very big as a sophomore. I think he probably weighed about 220. And he's wrestling 280 pound young men, but he didn't back down to any of those. I got my butt whooped a lot. Definitely tested me a lot mentally at times. One thing about Tyler, I bet if you ask any of his coaches, he's probably one of the most coachable athletes that I have coached throughout the years. Coaches were great, taught me a lot about the sport. And then I got to wrestle a lot of great competition that got me better. Yeah, Tyler! Tristan Worth grew up just nine miles north of Solon. Tyler! And Mount Vernon was kind of our big rival school. You know, I think Tyler had some determination that night to say, you know, this might be one of my last chances to, to get at Tristan. Tristan had already committed to Iowa, and Tyler had never beaten Tristan. The winner of that duel uh, would qualify for the state duels. It was crazy mayhem, but it was definitely a moment that I'm sure Tyler will remember and anybody there will remember. The big thing for me that wrestling has kind of helped out is just the mentality side of things. Wrestling, it's you go on the mat and it's one-on-one. -on -one. You gotta defeat the guy across from you. I try to bring that over to the football. You gotta get after him and that's kind of the mentality I have. Going into high school, I excelled probably more at football and then started getting recruited. Iowa came along. Coach Reese Morgan uh, recruited me, who was an awesome guy, my first year here on the defensive line. A lot of linemen we recruit, we feel like typically they can play both ways, especially the guys that we recruit for defense. My freshman year, I got called into Coach Ferentz's office and he talked to me, we're gonna switch positions, I'm gonna go over to the offensive line. It was a little shock just because, you know, I loved playing on the defense. I loved being around the guys, especially those on the defensive line room. And he was doing great on defense. It had nothing to do with that. Part of my job is to look down the road a little bit. It just occurred to me as the season went on that year that I wasn't sure who our center a year later was going to be. And Tyler just seemed to embody all the things we look for in a center. Tyler had to take it all in, process it, and it's obviously it's worked out well. It was a good decision. Look at the hole that the offensive line's creating. There's no one impeding Goodson's track. Big, athletic, pull around, getting a body on a body. He's one of those people that if we had five of them, we'd have five starting two defensive tackles and three interior guys on offense. It'd all be Tyler. Every day from there on, you know, I was always snapping with Spencer Petrus, trying to get familiar with the position. He helped me out a lot, just learning the ins and outs, too, and also uh, the older guys that were in the offensive line room helped me out. He rises to the occasion for every game. He does it you know, in a physical, nasty way. We have some young guys on that line that every single day he's making them better and um, you know, in turn is making our team a lot better. It's a pretty neat experience to just see his growth at that center position. I think it's more important just not the ability of playing the position itself, but just what he's doing with the, the young team right now around him. Goodson has a hole, stays on his feet. Credit the blocking. He's worked very hard to be where he's at. And so it doesn't come easy for any of those boys that are playing, you know, football. I'm thankful for him to have the will, the drive, to be able to do as well as he's doing. Compliments are hard to take for me for some reason. I've never really liked taking compliments just because you don't want to think you have arrived. You know, maybe when I'm 40, I'll be able to take compliments, but I'm just going to keep my nose to the grindstone and keep working.